Hi Leos, welcome to your reading. Guys, let's get into this. Let's see how well your person knows you. How would they describe you? What's their true feelings, thoughts, and opinion of you? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Leos, I'm excited. This is their card. It's holding the energy of them pointing over at you going, I'm pretty confident in knowing this about you. Mm -hmm. Let's see how well they should be confident. Oof. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is going to come in the strongest for my Leos this week. Come on. Bring some energy into me. Spirit, the strongest one forward. Guys, y'all know for any reason, if this does not feel like your person, uh, you could check out your other sign positions. And sorry, I did not do the extra wild card reading for this one. This is for my Leos. My Leos. Ooh, got somebody's energy. Talk to us. Tell me about your Leo. That was quick. Somebody's really wanting to express here. Ooh, gamble. Ooh, you risky. Yes. <laughs> oh. Mm. With that, with that one, they they would be saying that you're not afraid to take a risk. Mm hmm. <clears throat> you're not afraid to take a risk. Let's see what else they want to bring out. Hmm. You might not know exactly everything you want in life. Yeah. The pieces of the puzzles, but you're getting there. Yeah. Because you're fearless enough to take some risk and some gambles to figure out what it is you want in life and who, how you fit into this world. Yes. Finding the missing pieces of yourself. But sometimes, yeah. You may not always know what, what exactly it is you want. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's slow down just for a minute because they're going to point out, because i just seen the clouds above her. They're going to point out a little bit of something about your connection with other people in matters of the heart. You may lose yourself a little bit. You give away too much of yourself. Uh, and you get lost in... Love. I don't know how else to put that. And it can be any relationship, guys. Friend, family, tribe. You seem to get a little bit lost because you start giving, giving so much of yourself and you lose sight of yourself. Uh -huh. Your direction. Helping others to find theirs. Ooh. Cat also popped off, guys. Mm -hmm. Got two cats. You cat person. Ooh. Feline, you're very mysterious also to this person because you, they got you coming in with kitty cats. Kitty cats, uh-huh. But it's also showing that you, you're very, you're kind to animals, mm -hmm. to the fur babies. And that tells a lot about your character to this person. It makes an impression upon them uh, when they watch you with animals, how much you love and <clears throat> care for animals in general. See what else? Yes. <clears throat> you definitely a nurturer. Mm -hmm. Anyone that you perceive needs nurturing. Your heart just goes, oh, <laughs> oh. You're a healer. You're actually a healer because you recognize when others are hurting and you don't like seeing someone suffer. Yeah. What else? Yeah, oh, look at there. Mm -hmm. Parenting skills. The mother. The mother nurturing energy. Also bringing in mama bear kind of energy. You're very protective <clears throat> over those that you feel like are vulnerable. That have a broken wing. You'll, you'll stick by their side. What did I just hear? It's almost like that ride or die mentality. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not dropping you on your butt. That may be the risk risk they're talking about. Uh, you'll go the distance with someone. Who, it's hard for you to give up on someone because you see the worth. The worth in everyone. Mm -hmm. But you may lose sight of yourself a little bit in that. Ooh, guys, really. You're magical also. You're a very rare person. Uh-huh. So, for, for the person coming forward, they would be saying, they ain't quite ever met anyone like you before. You're one of a kind. 
Uh-huh. And, they, and, and they would be, what would they be saying? <clears throat> oh, God broke the bowl on that one. Mm hmm Because it's unbelievably rare and special. But they also see you having a little bit of frustration of feeling like time is running out on you and you can't figure out exactly what because we got the puzzle pieces you're running out of time on can't fully get to grasp the full picture of it it's like oh i'm getting older here <clears throat> i feel like i was supposed to have done something really you know <laughs> profound and i don't feel like i have and i'm running out of time but i don't know what that profound is that i was supposed to have done Ooh, so yeah but you do have a sense of, I'm running out of time. <laughs> Things are slipping through my hand. And, yeah, there's that longing. Ooh, guys. Mm. If you're identifying the Leos, uh, spirit will be chiming in here, not just your person. There's something you gave up, you sacrificed. You, you gave it up for uh, obligations, responsibilities from early, early in your life. A desire, a dream. And you may be feeling like it's not possible. Spirit would be chiming in right now for you, saying, yes, it is possible. It's never too late. It's never too late to bring that dream back to life. Yes. But your person does see you as this. You give up the things you desire. You lose yourself, guys. When in any connection with anyone, family, friends, tribe, you're just the person that will hold yourself back. You'll give up the things you want. If you wanted to go to college and you had a sense of <clears throat> my gang, my tribe that didn't get to go to college, they, they didn't have privilege. You might have had an opportunity. And they were disappointed and you felt like you know, you're feeling, reading, because you're reading that energy. And they'd be like, you're leaving us behind. You're growing away from us. You held yourself back. Because you didn't want them to feel alone. You see everyone's worth. And you want everyone to see and feel their own worth. But at the same time, you lose yourself in it. To the point you can't see your own worthiness. Wow. Leo's. Let's keep going, guys. Let's switch off decks. Let's get a little bit more here. We're going to use the New Age Millennium Oracle. <clears throat> Let's see what they're going to slap out on this one. Yes. It's for my Leo's person. Leo's. Hold on. Spirit's wanting to chime in here, guys. Hold on. Something but Right now. Right now. I'm not talking about your person. We're going to hold their energy for a minute. Spirit's wanting to chime in on something about that time slipping away from me. Feeling like you, it's too late for me to resurrect that kind of dream. What are they saying? What is Spirit saying? Let's find out. Muse and Steampunk. King of Cups. Scorpio. Transformation. Stop drowning. Stop drowning yourself in the emotions. But also, he's y'all see he's holding the cup. Stop drowning yourself. Hair font. If you if mm, school learning, faith organization but you've got to have faith you have not running out of time and you know how to maneuver around things you're not afraid remember your your la uh, lady of fate up there you you know how to strategically maneuver things and manifest things you don't give yourself enough credit and do it there may be some sacrifices you need to make. <clears throat> Weighing out the balance, the Two of Cups energy is about compromises and sacrifices that we make in relationships, in committed relationships. Hold on. Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. 
guys, mm, you'll see all the, um, <clears throat> the cups, cups energy can stop drowning yourself, whether it's emotions or what, I, I mean, guys, I, you know, it's insinuating you hitting the spirits a little too much, but the spirits can actually be you doing something like, I eat, stress eat, <laughs> things like that, I, you know, whatever we're, we're pulling on to numb ourselves out, um, but this is saying it's time for you to come to grips with all the compromises and sacrifices. Is it really helpful for others for you to play it small? To hold yourself back? Because hmm. you, in order to get past this, and if you don't, because time will really run out on you, if you don't, learn to make a balanced compromise and sacrifice. You can't give up yourself and your hearts and your, your true desire to play small with someone else and this and sit down in the energy of someone thinking you're outgrowing them. <clears throat> it's time for you to get strategic about it. Mm -hmm. But that card also tells you don't share your thoughts and feelings with those around you right now because you might have some that are pulling your energy to stay small and not uh, step into... The path you're meant for. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's come back to your person's energy. This is from a Leo's person. Can we get a little bit more of how you're going to describe my Leo's? Thank you, Spirit, for chiming in for my Leo's. Pop. Oh, you cray in a good way. You cray cray. Yes, they love your cray. Uh-huh. Ooh, wild and out of the pocket, out of the box. You're also on fleek. Yes, things are on point. This person is just loving your energy that you come in with. But they also getting to see the this a side of you when you're not that high vibing. <clears throat> the side of you that is longing for something. Mm -hmm. To miss in peace. Sorry, not sorry. What I said wasn't wrong. I don't care what you think. Indifferent, unconcerned, and F off. With with that one, guys, the, the, it would be saying you're always on point. Yeah, you bring in a high energy. Um, people love your kind of craziness and out of, the, out of the box way of things. But I'll say you can hit a point of, yeah, mm -mm. I will tell you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. Mm -hmm. Or do you unleash it? Do you need to unleash that? And they could be saying, that's a part of yourself you need to unleash. Miss me with that. Yeah, try not to hear that BS. <laughs> Ew, okay, they're saying you need to unleash this. You need to unleash this side of yourself. Mm -hmm. Miss that with me. Try, <laughs> try not to hear the BS. Keep those lies to yourself, not making any sense. Yeah, you need to start speaking up, speaking what your true thoughts and feelings are sometimes, yeah. Yeah, and and you, you probably do more, you know, and then you'll immediately go into feeling bad about it. Yeah, with what we got here. But you wait until you explode to do it. Mm hmm So the pressure is built up so much that you explode on someone with their with your truth about them. And you know, then you'll feel bad afterwards. Don't feel bad, guys. You're saying things that should have been gently said all along to release the energy of it, the pressure of it. Let's keep going. <clears throat> I want to see what your person it feels like the energy is that you bring into connections, heart connections. So any relationship, friends, family, tribe, romantic, intimate, mm -hmm. any relationship, what kind of energy does my Leo's bring in? <coughs> and y'all forgive me, my throat is wonky today. What kind of energy does my Leo bring in here? Ooh, dragonfly, do you have a tattoo? Do you have a tattoo? Somebody's got a tattoo. Mm hmm if you see me, change is coming. If I touch you, your angels are near. Wow. You're an angel. 
when it comes in um, to heart matters and stuff, you bring in the energy of angel, angel, the nurturer of making someone feel like the universe has finally sent me someone or, yeah, an angel. Yeah, someone that's going to help me. Mm -hmm. What else? Forever love. Take my hand. Walk this path with me. Your name is carved on my heart. Come close. I'll let you see. Ooh, you take relationships very serious. Even friendships are very serious to you. There's no casual, casual friendships. Uh, you love everybody to a deep level. And, um... Sometimes, sometimes the intensity of that uh, can be a little too much for you. Mm -hmm. To love, to love, to a deep level. Ooh. Okay, guys, the next deck, I'm going to ask your person. I'm going to see if we can focus more in on just your connection with them. We'll see what they think you think is really important and a priority to have in an intimate, committed connection with them. Ow. Final shot. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. Ooh, time's running out, isn't it? Yeah. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. Mm. You, uh, with that one, guys, it's going to be like, you don't like the what ifs. The what ifs. Uh-huh. Um... If I never say what it is that I want, if I never find what it is that I want, it'll have you uh, hesitant of trying to come out of your comfort zone. I think I'm putting myself on hold. You'll never know if you don't share it with the person, the dream that you're finding for yourself and what it is you want. Also, we got butterflies. Enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of new or old love. Ow, the butterflies, guys. We got we love that butterfly feeling of falling in love. Yes, the excitement of it. What else? Love at first sight. You fall in love instantly. Yes, even even if it's just a fur baby. Every fur baby you see, you fall in love with. Yeah, you love people that don't seem lovable. You love them. You see their worth, and you want them to feel their worth. The instant gravitational pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know that this is a soul connection. Ooh. Being able to connect on a soul level. But the one thing I want to point out, Leo's, is... Um, we're easily, that's what I mean when we, we, we love, we love to a deep level, soul connection, that's the only kind of love we know, even in friendship, we love on a deep soul level, and a lot of our pain is stemming from other people don't love like that, and you'll get into connections where you're feeling it on the soul level, the energetic, deeper meaning of it level, and the other person is more on the surface of things. And it comes across as they're being cold. Cold. You saw the worthiness in them. And it's making you feel like they didn't see you in your worthiness. I'm going to cry on that one, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going here so I don't cry. Mm -hmm. We're using Romance Angel Oracles. I'm going to ask your person if they want to share anything at all about your connection with them. Hopefully this will give you confirmation of who it is. Uh, it can be friction you've had, things you've had to work through, things you're trying to work through. It can be anything they just want to share with us about the connection with them. Let your friends help you. Uh -huh. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others that's hard for you to do and this person uh, you may have be holding them at a friend trying to hold a friend level but leos remember what i said to you you love on a deep soul level what you consider friend level this person has no clue the depths of that mm -hmm. and even you don't because you'll try to hold them off and go, no, I'm not attached. I'm not attached here. 
when you really are. You don't know how not to attach. You love. Bring love and worthiness to everyone. And then lose sight of your own. Mm -hmm. So, we may have started out as friends. Or you might be trying to hold them as friends. Mm -hmm. But they're also telling me you've got a lot of friends that depend on you. Other people, guys, that run to you for support. Emotional, mental support. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Calling in a soulmate, yeah, you, you, you're a soulmate to everyone. You came in as an angel. You're, you're a soulmate, a soul connection for everyone. But you got to get your own prayers, affirmations, visualizations, uh, in order and and. Share that with that this person coming forward so they'll know what direction to help you go in because they get a true sense of they don't want to hold you down and hold you back. They want to help. They want to be supportive of it. We may have been through some separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Because mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm, in the in and out because we keep trying to push this person away going, I'm not I'm going to allow myself to get attached because I'm going to have to give up a lot here. I don't know what I'm going to have to give up. And this person uh, would be saying they don't want you to give up anything. They want you to have it all. Wow. Let's pull the Enchanted Tarot. This is the first edition of the Enchanted Tarot. It's nothing like the second edition. Last time I looked, this deck was really hard to find. It's one of my favorites. My daughter bought it for me. One of my first tarot decks. See what they want to say. Just anything they want to close off with here about my lady. Oh, can we work together and get a blueprint going? Yes, teamwork. Teamwork. That's showing you they want to build together. They want to help guys. They're both carrying the basket level after harvest. Magician card. This person is very much ready to uh, start building and manifesting with you. But there's a little bit of uh, heartbreak, heartbreak going on. And there might be some bickering. Let's see a little bit more on the Three of Swords. Ooh, are we hurting each other's feelings? Are we getting into where you keep trying to hold them at friend level? Are you making them feel like you're holding, pushing them back? Mm -hmm. Going, nope, 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 I'm getting attached to you. Yeah, you're self-restricting, eight of swords. Holding yourself back, mm -hmm. temperance. Wheel of fortune, you're worried about repeating something that you've probably been repeating in every relationship. <laughs> Of giving, losing yourself, losing sight of yourself, sacrificing a lot of yourself for others. And not feeling your worthiness because you're sacrificing for people that forget to give that back to you. Mm -hmm. Let's get a brief message from them. We're using conversation with counterpart like side of both bags. Message from my Leo's person. Oh, wait. I almost pushed them back. We got two. I've loved you since before you knew. And I'm not sure you know now. I'm not sure you can sense the depths of my love for you. You're my greatest adventure. Ooh. Adventure. They like the fact you know how to take a risk. And not afraid. And you're bringing that out in them. We wished upon the same star. We are from the same star. <laughs> Made from the same stuff. Yes. My world is turning upside down. Mm -hmm. We're miles apart, but you're always in my heart. The separation card, guys. Always in my heart. I'm devoted to you, to this, to us. You have my devotion. Leo's, that's all I have for us. Sending you love and light. Bless me.